Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this drawing and wanted to make it bigger. Well, they actually sent me this one. Make it bigger and be able to cut it out. And I am not good enough to trace this. And, and you could. You could spend a lot of time tracing this and getting the colors uh, more vector. So this is what they sent, this one right here. So I made a copy, and, and just for the one I'm doing it for, I, I changed your nut factor to zero, zero. And I'm going to change your pin to a hairline. Doesn't really matter what color. I'm going to go ahead and make it red. CMYK, she's evidently a printer, or they're a printer. So now when you draw something, it's going to be at a hairline. So I made a duplicate of it. Well, let's just do it from the start. So this is what they sent me. And... I control D and make a duplicate of it and move it down here just in case I mess up. But you always want to kind of give Corel the, the best option. So with it selected, go and get your crop tool and crop out as much of the black as you can. And that way Corel doesn't have to work so much. Just make sure you get all the, the whole picture in it. And then go to crop and crop it and you can see it made it smaller. It's real small. We don't have to, you know, resample it. It's, it's, it's already at 300. I'm not gonna do worry anything about the color because I'm just gonna trace it, out, uh, outline trace, but this time I'm gonna use low quality image. And let's go ahead and bump the detail up a little bit and hit okay. Now from, from this point on, you want to nudge and not move stuff around. So I'm going to nudge it one inch over. So there's our traced copy and it's terrible. Let's back up here. Let's, let's don't uh, go all the way. Let's go outline trace low quality and just leave it where it was at. Don't try to get more detail. And then let's move that out of the way. So there, and I don't know anything about printing. Uh, you've got a bunch of different colors here and you could spend a lot of time uh, changing th things around and I'll just show you what I would do if I was gonna do this. I'd go to group or object, ungroup it. And you can change this color to make it all that. So we're gonna go to the smart field tool. I'm gonna grab the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna select that color right there and then I'm gonna make that and that, that color. Kind of make his horn or his whiskers or whatever that is, the same color. And you could do a lot, you could play around with this till, you know, the cows come home, you know, making this a little bit more uniform, like put a node there, right click, turn it in, make it a line, you know, and, uh, Let's take that node away. You could click here and go up to align nodes vertically and, you know, line ver you know, vertically and have more of a kind of a square look and play around with it. And you could, there's a lot you could do with it, but I don't know as far as printing it, uh, you know, these color separations, you just don't want too much excess uh, garbage on the outside. So then what's so cool about this, it is broken apart, so now we can make a boundary of it. And it made a red hairline boundary of it. And then let's nudge it back to the original picture, select it all, and go right here to intersect, and let's nudge it down. And what it did, it cut out that black. Now we're gonna try to grab our outline, and you can see down here it's a hairline. So now we've got an outline around the picture. The one question was they wanted to make it bigger. Well, let's take this contour and see, I would, you know, I would clean some stuff up uh, before I would really do this. I would maybe take out that node and try to make it look a little more uniform, just kind of go around and you could do that to the original picture. But now we're gonna go to object or go to effects in contour, we're gonna to contour to the outside 0 0.01. She's gonna cut it out like for a car sticker. And what I like about it, it 
it's not going to cut inside here because we contoured it. So now we're going to break the contour apart, go up to object, break contour apart. And if you grab the center, you're going to grab the center one. And if, if now you got the outside and you can bring it over there. So this thing is going to cut out. Now, as far as making it bigger, now you can make it as big as you want. You know, it's, it's less than an inch. So let's just grab it all and just make it, you know, five inches. And then you can see your contour. The only thing you want to do is if your contour has got some jagged edges, that's because this is jagged. So if we would have cleaned those up prior, let's just move that over, see if we can't get just a contour. And you really would have to do it from the start, the one you traced, and just take these and see how that jagged edge is right there, just take away that node. And now you've got a rounder node on that end. Let's just look at the other side real quick. Yeah, it's got almost the same thing. Just click on it and grab that node. So let's just look at the difference now. We're gonna take and use the boundary tool and then we're gonna to contour to the outside and now we're gonna to go to object, break contour apart and grab the red one. Now look at our, instead of this, now we're gonna have this where it's a rounded shape. So if you do all that prior, you won't have that problem if you're, you know, my, when people say they're going to cut it out for a sticker, I'm thinking of a, like a clear vinyl, they're going to print on it. So you want this clear vinyl to not have any notches in it like that. You want it to be kind of flowing. And like right there, if you would have taken that out to begin with, you're going to have a better contour. But you can make it any size you want. It's already five by five. I don't know what. Now, as far as tracing it and getting a better color, I think it's going to print pretty well. It's going to kind of give some depth to it. And that's all I can say about it. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.